<sighs> Since we're down here, uh, mm -hmm. are they meeting the robot? No, but the robot is happy to fucking see you guys at last. It seems that it causes its old circuits to glow with happiness. Uh, let's see. As far as the robot goes, he's like, welcome. X023 has many wonderful things for sale. Please buy my stuff. I thought the robot died. No. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, what do you need? What, what do you have? Today we have. Hold on, man, I'm finding him real quick. Futuristic city, sad robot. There it is. I have Coleman Lantern, currently out of oil. A metallic jar that contains the temperature of liquid you put inside indefinitely. And. A, a small coin pouch that holds twice as much as it appears it should without weighing you down. How much can it hold? It can hold 200 coins. Oh. Can hold any amount of weight? Uh, no. Nothing is forever, it says. Except for uh, special bags and, of course, a Class 3 TARDIS. You said it doesn't weigh you down. As much as it should. Oh. It feels like you're oh, getting 100 coins, not 200 coins. I get human. It. But does it always feel like you're whole, you have 100 coins? I don't know. I don't have any coins. <laughs> hmm. What uh? What are you looking for? I'm still looking to see what they had. Sometimes they have useful shit. I am looking for oil for oh, a Coleman no. lantern. <laughs> of course. He holds up a Burlington Coleman lantern. And looks at it, and he says, it was my friend. It has died. <laughs> There's a little face drawn on it. That's it. <laughs> That's all you're looking for? Yes. I love that I've always got new shit for sale here. <laughs> I got a big old list of different shit for sale. And by God, we're still going through it. While we're here, let's check the ancient futuristic prison. Uh, the resistance is not there either. Hmm. Damn. Sad robot looks sad. So is the resistance where the smuggler cave is? Uh, you go check it out, and it looks as though uh, the smuggler cave has definitely seen some action, but they're not there currently. Okay. Um, Tracking skills. Hmm. Are they where the blood dome is? Now, uh, tracking skills. Go ahead and give me tracking at half. Close, close. <coughs> Try that. <coughs> Good idea, Dana. <coughs> Made it. Uh, right. He tracks them back until he gets back to the underground smugglers lair that's close to the warehouse 
that Chris had suggested going into, but then didn't. Uh, so yeah, they're actually there. Um, the there are various guards and stuff confront you guys with weapons. Hold it! Put up your hands, say the four guards. The chair is against the wall. John has a long nose. Was it nose or mustache this week? One says the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put your weapons down and come with us. All right. I come with them. All right. Yeah. Is there, nobody else has any obvious weapons on, do they? Nope. Well, no. easiest disarming them. ever. Yeah. Uh, they take you off. How, uh, how closely are they looking? I've got a pistol. Uh, they're not. They're not searching you. Uh, give me a concealed cold out camouflage. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about my Buck Rogers gun. My bad. Ah uh, yeah. They, they, give me a concealed hold out camouflage. Dana, once again, the men are trying to smuggle in all kinds of Dana. unnecessary weapons because they're just full of testosterone and wanting to kill everybody. And they do. Uh, right, you guys get uh, let in. I. Uh, you, there's a bunch of guys sitting around uh, um, getting various uh, things ready, and one of them comes up to you and goes, So you have stumbled upon uh, our most secret hideout. Know that unless you... They gave the password. Ah, he says. <laughs> so, what news do you have from, from the creator? The creator? No, I said the crater. 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 The crater? The crater. Crater? The crater. What are you talking about? You, which password did they give? Was it nose or mustache? Nose. The shirt wasn't mustache this week. No, it's nose. You said he had a long nose, huh? What was the name of the man who had the long nose? Sean. What do? What information do you have from the crater? <laughs> um, the crater? Like what? What? Like honestly, I. So. Are you fucking with me? He <laughs> said. No. Who are you? Um, my name is uh, Dr. James Fulton. He rolls his know who Dr. James Fulton, destroyer of worlds, lore is. Holy shit! It's <laughs> Dr. James Fulton, destroyer of worlds! Holy shit! We should let the torch know. Yes, I agree. And who are yes. these other two? Destroyer of moons and. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyer of root vegetables. <laughs> they look at you. Uh, that's what happens when you sleep in on uh, the title handing out day, huh? All right. To the oh. torch. We will bring him to you. What? What? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to find out what's going on here and to end the tyranny. We know that you will be ending the tyranny. Because I destroy things. Hey, you can't argue with that. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we should get the torch. Okay. No problem. Uh, they send off a guy uh, into a different tunnel area to go bring uh, the torch. And, and let me give you this picture here. Hmm. Eventually, this guy comes in. He has blonde hair. Uh, he's wearing a loincloth. He has a tooth necklace. His picture is down a bit. 
And he, <laughs> he comes in and looks at you guys and he goes, so, Dr. James Fulton, Destroyer of Worlds, eh? That's right. He does the slow walk around you as you stand there. You other two give me a spot hidden at uh, full. Not Dr. Fulton, though. I stand dramatically. Mm -hmm. I get I, I Captain Morgan. All right. <laughs> so yeah. Just a mile slide a barrel under your foot. Thank wow. You. Both of you guys failed. No problem. I... Uh, Shows, it shows the uh, torch check out Fulton's ass as he goes by and nobody notices. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he says, so, do you bring us word of the crater? And the guy goes, oh, no, no, not the crater. I, I, look, is it nose or mustache? Damn it, I hate these codes. <laughs> no, Wait, they, are you British? Just... Right now. Yes, he says. Oh, clearly the bad guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he glares at you. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, naughty. I mean, what I meant to say is, what uh, what do you offer the resistance? <laughs> and what are you doing with your fingers? Hmm. Does he have any concealed weapons? I don't think he actually does, no. See, oh I my god, it failed, no wonder. Them. I believe it. <laughs> so, well, there's one concealed weapon. Mm -hmm. He files as you... No, anyway, I'm uh, getting rid of an assistant five. Does anybody want it? <laughs> what do I got? Uh. <laughs> Would you like multitasking? This round do any three skills at half chance? I'm, I'm going to get rid of whatever I'm given. Yeah. Does anybody want rhino hiding? Play at the beginning of round Ooh. before attacked. All physical and magical attacks for this round are no effect. Wow. Oh, I'll take that. Ditching the fast draw plus 20. All right. I'm going to toss out the assistant five. I'm going to play my obscure knowledge. <laughs> Got back to sad robot. <laughs> I think they've gone, he tells his Coleman lantern. <laughs> Shit. So what is going on? Like, what is the crater? Who is the crater? Like, what's going on? You don't need to know about that, he says. Yes, he, I do. You should tell me all these things. He puts up one foot. Somebody slides the barrel under it. And he says, I don't think we will. What we can tell you is that if you're wishing to join the resistance, we could use brave people. Currently, we're working on sabotaging the train tracks to Bakersfield. Why? To keep them from becoming completed. Why? It will help draw off guards. Guards who will otherwise perhaps foil other plans. What if other plans? Want... So is that just a big distraction? I don't see any need to tell you anything that we're doing. You have not proven yourself yet. However, if you'd like to prove yourself, we will give you some explosives and you can go out and do our sabotage with points at uh, uh, guy. Him. The guy. Goes, guy. I like to blow stuff His up. name is Deja Vu. The guy looks at you carefully and says, have we not met before? Of course we have. Not, I, we won't have any fire support. Where's the chocolate mousse? He will be busy doing another job. I find it disturbing you know so many of our people here, Dr. James Fulton, Destroyer of Worlds. What a long name. His parents knew what he was going to do when he grew up. 
Silence, he says. Silence, you hear a voice say. <laughs> he looks around. <laughs> so look, what, like, what real things do you have going on that I can do? Because that's... Nothing. Nothing until you've proven yourself. Go with deja vu and deal, deal with the train tracks to Burlington, or no, to that other town I mentioned a minute ago. Bakersfield. Sure. That's Baker the one. Bill. Yes, go deal with that, and then we'll talk. Okay. Can we stay here I, for the night until nightfall and then go do it? Yes, but you have to sleep over there in the slightly grimier area. <laughs> Whatever. Where's the explosives so I can check them? You will be provided with the explosives when you are there. Stay job no. will have them. No. Hey. I, I need to... Yeah. If I'm going to use explosives, I want to make sure that they're good yeah. before we go. Very so. well, he says. Strides off and deja vu comes up to you and goes, Didn't I already show you the explosives? No. Please show <laughs> me the explosives. thought I was the demolitions expert. Oh, you are? Then I will I'll help you out. Oh. Right. You guys Maybe, are going uh, through the explosives and such. Expert is a little gratuitous, but Deja vu goes oh, be careful. I support. Shows him like with a fucking candle getting closer and closer to the fuse looking at it. Yeah, you're better than me. <laughs> He's been blowing up a lot of shit, apparently. Can you give me five? Yep. Uh -huh. You can do it. Hey, there you go. No problem. You uh, the, the explosives, it should be enough to mess up the train tracks. Just. There's not a lot of extra here. Okay. It's two little bundles of... Uh, Actually, no, they do with half that. It's one little bundle of uh, uh, TNT type stuff. Uh, it looks like you have to kind of dig underneath the metal train track a bit, stick it in there, and then put some shit on the sides. That way you can help channel the blast up to bend the track. Sure. <laughs> Sounds Deja good. Vu. What will the train be transporting? What train? The next train that's going to be coming through on these tracks. Ah. Uh, the train is not, the tracks are not yet completed. It is very soon that it will be done. We are keeping them from finishing it. We are setting back their schedules. The proletarian dictatorship will not keep the working man down. The masses shall rise. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that'll distract them for a day. Yes. Maybe two. It's really for word of the distraction for what other other hair brain scheme they have going on is what it comes down to. But that's fine if we need to get in good graces. It should be easy. I just like blowing stuff up, so otherwise I was hoping, I was hoping there were right. shipments of seeds coming through soon. <laughs> I fill my pockets. <laughs> What are you filling your pockets with? I'm hoping to find a train full of seeds. Oh, seeds. Seeds, yes. No problem. Uh, come, I will show you to your room, says Deja Vu. He heads over to a different part of the uh, underground lair. Looks at you guys. I follow. <laughs> Right here, he says. <laughs> you will sleep here. And it's very nice. And over here is you. And over here is me. And over here is him. And hers. Oh wait, no, I fucked it up. He says, just sleep <laughs> over here. Oh. I attempt to say thank you in French. Bon cock, he says. <laughs> the guy nods. 
You're still thinking about that fucking root vegetable from earlier. Anyway, uh, right. You guys get uh, a little bit of rest and stuff, and eventually... Well, first, oh? I look meaningfully Magic. at Doc and Glenn and say, I was hoping for uh, playing a bit of cards. Ooh. We should do that right before we go. Can we do the magic here? You're in a room with a bunch of our guys who look extremely wary. And like they don't fully trust you for some reason. Mm. You're thinking it may set them off. Well, I was... We can we can leave the sleeping quarters, or are we? A couple guys come up and go. Watched here. We heard what you said. One of them puts a barrel down in front of you, looks at you significantly. No one puts a big. Me? No, her. No one puts a uh, round uh, wooden thing on top of the barrel. <laughs> they sit down, pulls out a pack of cards, and begins <laughs> shuffling it, looking at you like, "We will gamble now." What's the stake? Uh, how about silver? Yes, we got. I'll be some back. Silver. I'm gonna get some more coffee. All right. Okay. Uh, they pull out some silver coins. They look at you guys like. I sit down. I sit Where, down. Where's your money? I got some silver. All right. They like that. Mm -hmm. And yours? I have a little silver. How much silver are you guys pulling out? It's not a high stakes match. <clears throat> How much did they put out? 30 or so. I'll pull out 20 coins. You should pull out another 10, they tell you. Okay. 30 Same coins. <laughs> Only for you. Yes, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. David, do you have 30 silver? <laughs> oh, I do. Let's put it out. Excellent. Right. Everybody give me their gambling roll, please. These guys are not fucking card sharks or anything like that. Well, that's good. Yeah. One of them immediately uh, bets on some stupid ass shit. All his money's in the pot. He just hangs his head. I thought they would match. Wow. Uh, Dana, you actually got the closest to winning. Uh, they're, they're arguing about whether whether a uh, full house or a straight wins. And give me a fast talk roll, Dana, to make whatever you have actually win because they can't remember which one wins. But nobody knows that. It's your big moment in the sun, Dana. Hey, whatever, whatever I've got wins, she says, and takes all the money. According to Hoyle. Oh, well. She's oh, right. Wait. One of them goes, that evil black magician, if he said it, then we should go with it. And they push their money over to you and then uh, take their table and shit and leave. Did you call me magician? Uh, what? No, Hoyle, the evil magician. If he said that's the thing, then uh, yeah. Uh, Scott, mark off all your money. Dana, you have won four times your, or you now have four times as much money as you used to have. So, well done. Just because they sucked worse than you. It wasn't your real skill, it's just yeah. they sucked. <laughs> Ah, we totally got them, Dana. The guys, you guys stop and turn around and look at you. What? Hmm? We should play again sometime. Give me a fast talk roll. There you go. Ah. Right. You've managed to initiate 
<laughs> Standard combat. One of them wants to hold your arms while the other one throws punches into your gut. Stop taking our money, even though you lost as well. But you are now in standard combat. This will keep you busy while Chris is gone. You think happily is one of them tries to grab you. Um, away from this. No problem. Uh, heroes are first and have a small chance of getting knocked down. Attack is approved. The other 10 guys or so just watch. <laughs> Several of them have weapons and stuff like that. They don't seem to mind you guys beating each other up. So, you're first, because you can tell they're definitely coming for you. What do you do? <sighs> Quickly. I drop into my martial arts stance and check them. All right. Go ahead and give me a, a, a hit roll on one. Ooh. Damage. They are not wearing any armor. Are you wearing armor? Uh, under my clothes. Kevlar. Yeah. Martial arts failed. Mm -hmm. Unarmed made it. It's... <laughs> Before, I think. <laughs> you slap one around a bit. Well, normally it's a D3, I believe, for just... Oh, wait, you have a strength bonus? Yep. Ah, good man. Right, no problem. Uh, one attempts to grab you. Now, the other one tries to grab you. Yes, you're now uh, Black. grappled. Black. Ah, all right, go ahead and give me the block to keep him away from you. Hmm. And you're grappled. So, next round. Oh, you get a card, by the way, for attack is approved. Oh, Villains right. are first. Heroes are second. Shooting the hostage is approved. Right. You're having trouble blocking because one guy's holding your arms. So, no blocking. Uh, the other guy is throwing punches into your stomach. <laughs> this is what you get, he says. <laughs> and... One's done, one real. The other one spends all his time going and holding you very tight. Your turn. You are grappled. What do you do? Martial arts headbutt. Hmm. The, the guy that's holding me. Okay. Yes. He Going to try to move his head to one side. No, he doesn't. He says. And I'll play a D6 damage card. God damn. D4, D6. Right. Um, he looks like he's he's uh, unhappy. And next round. Can I leave the room? <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty big room. It's easy to get well away and behind other people to watch this. Or you could try to slink out past the guards. Because I wanted to do some magic before I went to sleep. Ah, you're not sure how much time it will be until it's time to go out. You don't even know if you'll get a good eight-hour sleep in to get your magic points back. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem. Heroes are first. Drawing a weapon is approved. Uh, I'm still held. Uh, yeah, he hasn't gotten around to going yet. He, he's not happy. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I will headbutt him again. <laughs> He's got to try to get oh, let go. Of 
He sucks at getting his head out of the way. Damage. He's like, ah. Right, bad guy's turn. For the severely wounded guy who's holding on to you, he attempts to dramatically throw you to the ground. What is your strength? 80. 80. Uh, let's see. He has a 40, so that's 40, so that's 10% or less. He dramatically throws himself to the ground. <laughs> and takes a fumble card. Uh, you also, he also managed to knock down his uh, buddy, and they're, as they're laying there, one looks at you and goes, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> the, other, the other guys come over and drag those guys away. Doc, you're, you look up from uh, 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 your treaties on uh, unusually shaped root vegetables that you were looking at, and you see uh, uh, looks like uh, one bloody guy is getting drug away by a, another bloody, or people are getting drug off. One of them is uh, looking pretty bloody, and the other one isn't. Mm, but apparently, <laughs> yeah, and you don't see Dana around. She's probably been kidnapped. I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call jaded as fuck. All right. And so uh, you guys all get a little bit of sleep. Unfortunately, you only get a couple hours before Deja Vu goes, wake up. This is your second wake up call. Yeah. Come with me. Okay. Let's go. He uh, grabs the uh, explosives and uh, uh, stops and hand, gets uh, berets, hands you each a beret, puts one on himself. All right, before go. we go, go, I'm going to hmm? cast a couple spells. What? Here? With all these uh, strange people around? I'm going to people disguise myself as a Frenchman. All the time. Right? Uh, not usually in front of other people. Especially with no spirit pentagram. Go in the other room. Oh. <laughs> Are you going for a uh, Che Guevara? Um, how do you say French? <laughs> I am an outrageous accent. Giving them a card. Hey, here's your card, sir. All right, well done. You have disguised yourself with a successful role as, quote, French. Well done. So. All right. I will also try to disguise myself, but. Wait, well, why you are have you disguising to do... yourselves? You're not sure, but barely Glenn's picked up an outrageous French accent. Somebody okay. gave me a beret, so I put I on gave a, you a beret. Mm -hmm. yeah, put the beret on. Putting on the beret. Mm -hmm. Ah. Nope. Even though I tried to tie a little neckerchief on, it didn't work out. Is your is your learn a seven? Or wait, uh, is, is your dis has somehow your disguise skill fallen down? I mean, you wouldn't have made it anyway, but I'm just seven. curious. Did you put in something weird into your disguise uh, skill? Potentially. Aha. Uh because -huh. otherwise, you, you have a worse learn than somebody who's actually died before. <laughs> you have a bad enough learn that you may have died twice and not noticed it. I don't know. You know, few things surprise anymore. Okay. Chris, we, oh, we know you can do an outrageous French accent. So, right, you guys move off. He, uh, it says, oh, yeah. our biggest challenge, our biggest challenge would be getting out of the city unobserved. Mm. I am this way. a ninja. Uh, I don't say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, you guys head over. <laughs> 
basically he uh, does the thing where he throws a small rock and the guards are hopefully going to look at it. Everybody give me a stealth roll at full. One person blows it, including this idiot NPC, then the guards will catch you and eat you. Dog down. Yeah. Hmm. You guys get out and you go a ways. And it's kind of a very bushy area. Pretty dark. And he says, over here is where I was instructed to uh, do the damage. Everybody give me, listen at half. All three of you. Oh, let me check for the air guy. He doesn't hear shit. All three of you, though, here, it sounds like a large number of people hiding nearby because one of them went <coughs> very faintly and stuff. Uh, it sounds like a large number of people hiding nearby. You can hear a little bit of, it sounds like uh, leather on cloth. Stuff like that noise is just sounds like a lot of people trying very hard to be very quiet, hiding over in the uh, nearby bushes and stuff. Wah. Wah? Is this, what is a wah? I start backing up. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. At that point, uh, large lights are coming on. And you're rum, 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 rum. and uh, you're freeze where you are. Ah, sacred blue, says the guy. He begins trying to run off very, very slowly. What do you guys do as bright lights stab through the darkness at you? Hide. Yeah. You're pretty sure that hiding, like, uh, you, you're you right near the, I mean, you can go dive into the trees and stuff, try to hide, do you mean? Yeah. yeah. All right. Like and cover Dana? of some kind. Yeah. Yep. Everybody give me a stealth at half to just, <laughs> ninja brothers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, good, and uh, <laughs> no problem. Uh, it, it, right, several people with dogs. I'll play on. a supporter reroll on that. Ah, I was gonna say it just shows Glenn getting chased by a bunch of dogs and shit. <laughs> good luck, Glenn. Not a half. Glenn getting chased, bunch of dogs. Mm, I'll play the player's choice for reroll. You can do it. This is super hard, apparently. It's almost like they knew where you'd be. It's a trap! Right, he's British. I knew we were walking into a trap. Yeah. No problem. So, I said as much. Just chased by a bunch of dogs and shit. <laughs> He'll be making a few sprint rolls. You guys will be able to quietly card whore from the safety of uh, the bushes and stuff as all the troops go by. Yeah. 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 Are the troops all together, yeah. like in formation? No. Okay. Start the hero train. The hero train! Woo! Made oh. It. Well, that was a very fucking short train ride. <laughs> Right. The 30 guys who are laying in wait, because wow. obviously moving with that many guys, not happening, but laying in wait, they all capture deja vu. I tell you nothing. Well, you haven't asked you anything. I tell you nothing anyway. He says, 
dogs are like, rah, 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 their whole I already there. told you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a carpet glass. That'd be awesome. They take them away. Now, when they all gather together, like, uh -huh. how close are they? Fairly close. They're gathered around uh, Deja Vu. If I were to toss the bomb at them, I'm not caring if I kill Deja Vu, by the way. Okay. Um, how many would I take out with my demolitions knowledge? Possibly at least. You're guessing? Uh, I'll give you a guess for uh, demolitions, roll. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll at least be able to kill Deja Vu. That little fucktard will probably rat on your ass if you don't. You want to light it and go for it? No. <sighs> I thought I'd already been blown up. He says. <laughs> <laughs> right. They drag him off to wherever they drag people off. You. Yeah. You have the bomb. After waiting a proper amount of time, sneak back. Where are you sneaking to? Back to where we came. The, the train The track. underground lair? Yeah. You're not going to blow up the tracks? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Well, because they clearly knew this was going to happen. Or do you want to go do that first and then come back? Because it should be easy Perfect. now. Like right they just there. Don't, yeah. Yeah, they just took right all here. the guards away, so... I kind of want to roll right. demolitions. I was going to say, the, the problem with the tracks is that right now they don't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> oh. I mean, it might not have been a setup. They could just have a mole or whatever. True. So we'll, we'll, we'll complete it anyway. We set the explosives. Uh, Go for I the will... demolitions. Assist, Doc Fulton. Ah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> nice. Right. And, and you guys leave. Eventually, like, little things got lighted and stuff, and then just shows. <laughs> and the tracks are all fucked up, and they're in the weird patterns and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You feel like a revolutionary. Um, actually, instead of going right back to the hideout, I want to see if there was any other things happening. Because I want, I think that we were just a distraction. No problem. Uh, where would you like to go look? Well, like on our way. So on our way back to where the hideout is, do we hear gunshots or any kind of action? Is what I'm getting. Ah, at. let me see how they're doing. <laughs> from uh near the fortress um everybody give me stealth at full even glenn yes poor bastard non-ninja individual this is to not uh you know get caught and shit ninja i see one little two little not yep. three little ninjas no problem. Dana Zool uh, gets a uh, searchlight from the wall put on her, and she's like, Nope. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. It's not an insanity yet. Happy <laughs> oh. And they're like, What? <laughs> they just keep moving the light. She's like, <laughs> that would really mess with me if I was like what the, the day will probably that? come mm -hmm. so yeah I'm big searchlight on you and you're I'm gonna re-roll that oh. oh bigger searchlights on you <laughs> stop where you are uh, I'm so close yeah Oh, you guys have all got awesome stealth. It's just one of you at a time is plagued with shit rolls. You know what? Let's split the party. I put on my ring and I run away. <laughs> <laughs> she says. <laughs> right. And uh, the guards, uh, let's see how they react to this. 
Holy shit, she disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You get confirmation it actually works because they fumbled the goddamn roll. Anyway, you other two are like, it just it shows you guys just looking at each other. She's like, ha ah, ah. yeah. ha. And right. Yep. Apparently, her ring did work after all. Who knew? You Debbie doubters, I mutter. <laughs> you run away. You go and uh, give me a stealth roll if you'd like to rejoin the party as you uh, do a big loop and the guards are totally baffled. They're like, where'd she go? <laughs> you could have used it to just shadow jump and actually disappear. We had well, a search that's... light on her and then she just disappeared. I was I was gonna go for that instead of all the pause drain, but since they fumbled, I mean, yeah, yeah. nope. There she Didn't is. There she is. They move the search light over to you. Wow. There's a lot of shadows around here. Oh, plenty, plenty of dark, dark shadows. I'm gonna head whoa, 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 whoa. right over there. Ah, okay. Shows a red dot, and you go ding. And is there any kind of role associated with this? Uh, no, because I get to do it from my precious. Very well. Right. She goes, Would you? and they go, fuck, she did it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Are you just running away to safety? Send me, send me a private whisper on, as to where you go to go for safety and stuff, because it's obvious if you try to rejoin the party, you'll just get caught again. <laughs> so, do a, a, a slash W space L, and then it'll show my name, and you click on it, and then type in your message after in our spaces. Just I, all I want to know is where you go, because we're now playing worldwide hide and seek. And then as soon as I get that whisper, then I will go on to these other guys and see what's up with them. They may come across your. <laughs> I would not have guessed that. All right, no problem. You go off to do that. Um, things happen. Uh, and uh, right, you two, what are you doing? Oh, you uh, you made your stealth roll. Both of you give me spot hidden rolls. Oh. <laughs> he does that. Puts his fingers up over his eyes. And apparently it really helps. <laughs> You're baffled at this. <laughs> um, no problem. You guys are watching uh, the resistance. Apparently, they were caught going in, and it looks like the whole cell is getting rolled up. Like uh, they were, like it was a trap or what? It's hard to tell if it's a trap or if they're just incompetent. How far away? They, like, they raided like, the smuggler cave? That's what you're saying? No. Uh, the resistance was trying to get into the fortress. Oh, that was their actual objective. I so, guess. how many like so guards are rounding them up? What exactly is the, the scene there? Yeah, it looks like uh, uh, they've got uh, several different uh, vehicles and stuff that are after going around and round and round in a circle, and they go out of the gates and they come over and they're loading up uh, the resistance people in the and um, let me see if they've got. Uh, they even got the torch. He's like, don't you know who I am? Don't you? Says the guy. Stuffs him in there. And right. So they, they all got pinched then. Pitched? Pinched. Yes. Um, Apparently so. How far away are we from the fortress? You're watching this over about 50 meters away from stuff you guys are kind of like laying on some poor asshole's roof okay watching uh, there's a hilarious uh if if one was naked it'd be a hilarious you know pull the clicker for light thing going on but yeah the hole in the roof but no, they, they don't have that so anyway because we haven't had enough dick jokes in the campaign yet yeah true yeah Go back to the Romans. They are fucking notorious for those. 
So, yeah, you watch uh, the resistance get rolled up like a cheap suit. All right. Um, then let's let's get let's get the fuck out. Let's go. No problem. Where would you like to go look for your uh, missing companion who disappeared <laughs> with the power of the One Ring? Oh, actually, I was just I, I figured we'd go back to the Resistance headquarters and like loot it, like look for all their shit, <laughs> all their information. <laughs> And so I was then gonna say. destroy it so that way they can't trace back anybody else and find out what intelligence they do have and then watch the entrance for who comes and then we know who is a part of the uh, Gustapo as a mole. Okay. So you do that. Um, right. Chris, yep. roll open-ended D100. This is for amount of silver found. Like I'm gonna blow a bunch of paws on this. Yes, yes, you might. That fifty-five silver. Now, Chris, roll an exploding D10 for number of gold found. Happened. And that. Scott Roy. Okay, seven seven gold, fifty-five silver. Not bad. Scott, roll a. Uh, D4 exploding for amount of explosives found or explosives. Mm, is that a special command or just keep rolling them? Uh, roll, roll a D4. If you get a four, then roll another D4. Two. You found two more uh, uses of explosives. And uh, Scott, roll a D20. Once again, exploding. So if you roll 20, then you get roll some more, etc. Two and two. Right. Two more explosives, two more berets. <laughs> because having a beret when you're a revolutionary is very important. You guys gather up that. Uh, Doc Fulton gathers up a bunch of documents very quickly. Uh, like, sort through them later, I'm guessing. Yes. Get the fuck out. Right. And then and you then guys. Watch who goes. Right. Uh, give me stealth rolls to hide to watch who goes. You're at a plus ten percent as you've got time to go and like get your position ready and all that kind of shit. No sign of Dana Zoo at all. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you guys both managed to stealth your asses off. Eventually, uh, you see uh, uh, several guards come up. The, it doesn't look like you're going to find out who who the uh, hidden Gestapo are, although one of the guy's faces and stuff, spot hidden rolls, negative 20. Huh. He uses his magic fingers. Oh, he uses both of them. Telescopic lens. <laughs> by, hat, by negative 60. <laughs> God damn. One yeah. of the guys is the torch. Of course he is. He's British accent. He's yep. a bad guy. Yep. Motherfucker. Yep. Uh, right. Uh, he's dressed in a Gestapo uniform, if that helps. As, <laughs> is, as are the Gestapo there with him. So, yeah, they, they go in, bunch of soldiers and stuff, and they come out very angry doing the big look around. And he's like, I don't understand. It was all here. They've eaten, somebody's even taken the extra berets. <laughs> <laughs> it shows Doc Fulton covering Glenn's mouth as he's trying to laugh. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right, they're very upset and they're like, well, where's all the paperwork and stuff? And he's like, I don't know. Damn, I bet it was those new people. How many? How many did you get uh, with the with the train? We got the one. Uh, we ask him who he is, and he keeps telling us he's already refused to answer our questions, even the first time we did it. Hmm. I know who that is, and what of the other three, the two men and a woman? We didn't get them. How could you miss three of the four people? You knew where, you knew when, you knew why, you knew how. We didn't know who. <sighs> he says... <laughs> 
Very well. Well, put a uh, come. I'll, I'll work with a sketch artist. We'll get to the bottom of that. Their gooses will be cooked. Are you going to pose dramatically for long? It's kind of cold out. No, we can go now. Right. They all go and get into a uh, vehicle and uh, drive off with a couple of our vehicles following it. How many total were there? Vehicles? People. Uh, dozen. Okay. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to drive back to old, right? Pardon? Said to Doc, we're gonna we're gonna split those coins, right? I give you all the coins. Oh, thank you. Apparently not. You think you want one of these bombs? Okay. What are you doing with the extra two berets? Piss on them. Are you okay? And then, (laughs) uh. I don't know. Where are they? Burn them. Throw them in the ocean. Unless Dr. James Fulton, destroyer of worlds, wants them. The beret? Yeah. Well, now, he's just gotten done urinating on it. And they ask you if you want it after Wait, he gets done. on it? Uh huh. I, I urinate on one and I give him the other. Mm-hmm. Why, why are you so, urinating yeah. on it? You said that. <laughs> he peed on it, and they hands you it. Like, there you go, buddy. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Dr. James Fulton gives you a very old-fashioned look. <coughs> so, back to the dove, all sneaky style. All right. You guys get back there and realize Dana Zool is not there waiting for you, as it seemed logical she would be. That's fine. Uh, let's rest up. Dana, do you want to seduce Hagrid or just sit around chatting or get some tattoos? Well, I tried to send you another message, but it didn't. I didn't. I didn't do the thing well enough. Um, oh. I'm. I was telling Hagrid that he might need to close up shop and to tell anybody else that he knows that there seems to be a raid going on tonight. Holy shit! He said, "Why have we been sitting around playing tea?" He <laughs> <laughs> and starts packing up the fucking tea set. Oh God! <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Um, good luck. Any other secret signs or something? Or no, nope. you... <laughs> yeah, oh, rain tonight. Oh, god. And then you're gonna go back to the dove, yeah. It shows the dove door opening slowly, slowly. I'm not using the door. I'm going to be way more conspicuous trying to sneak in other ways than a front door. Oh. <laughs> when well, I get caught with a big spotlight with one leg through a window or something. But. <laughs> that's fair. Yes. Spotlights are not your friend tonight. No problem. Uh, you guys are all together again. 